Hi, I'm James Croft, and today I'm going to be taking you through some of the possibilities when restricting discussions in Connect. Now, restrictions are really useful for determining when a discussion is visible, uh, if and when students can contribute, and what groups of students you have contributing to a discussion. Let's take a look. Let's begin at the Discussions tool. Here, you can see the discussions and topics that have already been created. First up, let's look at how to show or hide topics, or even entire forums, from a student's view. Click on the context menu next to the forum's name and select Edit Forum. Scroll down the page to Availability. Here, we'll see two methods of restricting your forum. First is Visibility. By default, a forum is always visible. This means that your students will always be able to see it. The second option is Hide this forum. If you select this option, your students will no longer be able to see your forum and on your discussions list page, it will be marked as hidden. The third option is to have your forum viewable for a selected period of time only. To use this option, select the forum is visible for a specific date range checkbox. You may wish to have your forum only display from a certain date, appear until a certain date, or appear with allocated dates. When allocating dates to your forum, you can also select to have this date display in your calendar. Any restrictions that you apply to a forum will also apply to any topic that's within that forum. Let's move on to locking options. By default, forums are unlocked. If you select a lock forum, your students will be able to read your forum, but not post any new threads or replies to existing threads. The forum will appear on the discussions list page with the word locked underneath the title. The third option is to unlock forum for a specific date range. This means that the forum will always display but students can only post messages within the designated time frame. After applying your availability and locking options, click Save and Close. Again, it's important to note that applying an availability restriction to a forum will affect all the topics within it. If you don't want that, you can also apply these restrictions to a single topic instead. We'll do this by selecting Edit Topic from the Topics Context menu and following the same steps. While we're in a topic, let's take a look at the Restrictions tab. From here, we can add a release condition to the topic. This means your student will need to meet those criteria before accessing this discussion. For example, on this topic we could specify students need to complete a quiz attempt before accessing this discussion. To do this, I'll click Create and Attach, then pick a condition type of Completed Quiz Attempt, then set the condition details to my first assessment task, then the number of attempts to 1. I'll click Create to apply this conditional release. Now, this discussion topic will be completely invisible to students until they have attempted the first assessment task. I can also restrict this topic to a specific group of students. Check the box next to Restrict this topic to the following groups and sections and then click the Add Groups and Sections button. From here, choose the group or groups, then click Add. Now this topic will only ever be accessible to students enrolled in your selected groups. Click Save and Close to apply your restrictions. Using restrictions in discussions is a good way to make sure the right students are accessing discussions at the right time.